Hi, it's Mandy. Welcome back to my Let's Play of Final Fantasy VI. I'm really excited to jump back in, so let's just get going. This is water from a recovery spring. It will restore your HP and MP. Such springs are located all throughout the world, so always be on the lookout. Okay, we're in an adventure or school. This is a save point. Okay, I already know that. So you're just teaching me some stuff about the game. Okay. Yeah. So I'm playing as Locke, monster in a box. Oh, okay. Okay, so Terra's still in the party, but I'm playing as Locke. All these dudes look exactly the same. <laughs> When selecting armor or weapons in a shop, symbols will appear next to characters that can equip them. That's helpful. An upward pointing triangle indicates an increase in attack or defense power. A downward pointing triangle indicates a decrease in attack or defense power. Equals indicates no change. E means it's already equipped on that character. A symbol beneath a character means that person is currently in your party. Let me teach you how to ride a chocobo. Cool, we get to ride chocobos. Press up to move forward, change course by pressing left or right. A downward pointing arrow appears over the chocobo when it stops. You can dismount by pressing backspace while the arrow is displayed. But be careful, the bird will return to its pen as soon as you get off. Be careful, sometimes monsters lurk inside of treasure chests. No kidding. Valuables are sometimes hidden in pots, such as this one. Have you heard about relics? Relics can grant you a variety of abilities. For example, sprint shoes double your walking speed. Well, that sounds nice. A gauntlet lets you hold a weapon with both hands to increase damage. The Knight's Code makes you shield others in combat. Dragoon boots allow you to perform jump attacks. A person can equip up to two relics at the same time. Okay, I'm sold. Sounds good. This is a school for the beginning adventurer. Despite all of our recent advances in technology, the outside world remains full of monsters we know little about. Here we provide advice to travelers brave enough to face its many dangers. If you set the battle mode to wait in the config menu, you can take all the time you want to select spells or items in battle without having to worry about being attacked. Okay, I already have it set to wait. The white numbers that appear during battle are damage points. Green numbers are recovery. Damage received by characters in the back row is halved, but so is the attack power of those characters. To change rows, select the icon of the target character on the main menu, and then select the same character again. If you select a character other than the one for whom you selected the icon, the two will swap places. Okay. Damage is more severe when enemies have you surrounded, especially if your back is to the one attacking. Okay. You can flee from most battles. You will be able to enter battle commands for a character once its window rises to a certain height. If more than one character is ready to act, you can enter commands in any order you like. You can also set battle window navigation. When selecting the target for a spell, press right shift or left shift to toggle between targeting one or all of the targets. The defend command halves the damage received. The command stays in effect until another command is chosen. Status effects are represented by different colors. Blue is reflect. Yellow is protect, defense is increased. Green is shell, magic defense is increased. Red haste, speed is increased. White is slow, speed is decreased. Pink is stop, time is frozen. So when my eyebrows change color is when I know. Okay. You might find this room more useful after you've gained some experience out in the real world. A lot of the things you'll hear in here might not make much sense until you've gotten your feet wet. Okay, I'll come back. Okay. Take Terra south. Okay. Let's 
Background's pretty. I'm just like floating over the trees. <laughs> It's nice how if you select to attack something that's already going to die from a previous attack, it doesn't waste your turn. It just automatically sends me to another enemy, it looks like. How do I... Oh. So there's the map. Went too far. Oh, there it is. Halt. Oh, it's you. Proceed. Oh, you know me. Go and speak to the king. You mean this young woman is? Who are you? Oh, my apologies. How rude of me to turn my back on a lady on our very first meeting. The young king of Figaro Castle, imperial ally and champion of the technological revolution, Edgar. I'm Edgar, the King of Figaro. <laughs> Surprised that someone like me knows a king? <laughs> he just bowed like 12 times. Well, I'll catch you two later. So you're an Imperial soldier, right? Don't worry, Figaro and the Empire are allies. Feel free to rest here for as long as you'd like. It's not in my blood to harm a lady. Why are you being so kind to me? Is it because of my abilities? I'll give you three reasons. First of all, your beauty has captivated me. Second, I'm dying to know if I'm your type. I guess your abilities would rank a distant third. So of course, beauty is always the most important thing. What's the matter? Guess my technique's getting a bit rusty. Hmm, I suppose a normal girl would have felt something from those world words, but not me. Feel free to wander about the castle. Okay. Okay, so explore the castle. I heard the Gestalian Empire got its hands on something called magic. door? Oh. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> I want to buy stuff. How much money do I have? Cool. Okay. Good enough for now. Thank you. Gold needle. What do you have? Okay. Confuses all enemies with a blast of sound. Deals poison damage. Okay. I like that idea, but I don't have that much money. 
obtained a potion. I guess I shouldn't have bought so many potions. Okay. Figaro has an alliance with the Empire. Oh. Sure, I'll rest for a bit. Our king showers his attention on women. Young, old, pretty, or plain, no one is safe. Sounds like a great king, huh? Not too long ago, the king tried to hit on the high priestess. Oh, did she ever let him have it. I'm sure he's made a pass or two at you already, hasn't he? Chocobos! This is Figaro, the desert castle. Oh, that's all you're gonna say to me? Oh, who are you? You look sad. The high priestess. Edgar has a twin brother, you know. He was such a nice boy, always thinking of his family. Edgar, what's wrong with Dad? Why is everyone talking about his successor? Are you blind? Haven't you seen how thin his face has become? What do you mean? Edgar. Are you crying? Edgar's twin brother, who traded the throne for his freedom. Sabine. Ah yes, Sabine. I'm sure he's a fine young man by now. He was just a boy when he left, even smaller than his brother. I often wonder where he is now and what he's doing. Who's this? His Highness said he'd marry me when I got old enough. Ooh. Creepy even to children. The Gestalian Empire has already overthrown all three of the other nations on the southern continent. It's only a matter of time before they make their way up here. Ooh, Edgar's back. Let's go talk to Edgar. I'll talk to you, I guess. The king's brother was so disgusted by this succession that he fled the castle, never looking back. I've heard tell that the entire matter was settled by the flip of a coin. Well, how do you like my castle? There's someone here from the Empire here to see you, sire. Kefka, no doubt. Fui, Emperor just stalls stupid orders. Edgar, you pinhead, why do you have to live out in the middle of the stinking desert? These recon jobs are the pits. <laughs> see the jester? Ahem, <laughs> there's sand on my boots. All gone, sir. How pathetic. Sir Kefka, what in the world brings you out of my way? Oh, now I'm Edgar. You wouldn't be thinking of invading my kingdom next, would you? 
We have an alliance. An alliance with this miserable little sandpit? Don't make me laugh. I hear you've been busy down south taking over a country or three. Just what is the Empire up to? That's none of your concern. What brings Emperor Gestal's own court mage, Kefka, to my humble castle? A girl of no importance recently escaped from us. We heard she found refuge here. This wouldn't have to do with that witch everyone's been whispering about, would it? Lies. She merely stole something of minor value. Is she here? That's a tough one. There are more girls in here than grains of sand in the desert. A man couldn't possibly keep track of them all. Oh, Edgar, you know you only stand to lose by trying to hide her from us. Haha. <laughs> I truly hope nothing happens to your precious Figaro. I didn't like the sound of that. Where's Terra? Take her to her room. I'd love to stay and chat, but the Chancellor and I need to do some planning now. Being a king's not all tea and crumpets, if you'll excuse me. Follow me. Chase after lot, Koopo. Where did he go? Oops. Dang it. <laughs> Definitely came this way. And down here, maybe. Okay, maybe he's up here. There he is. Sorry, I didn't mean to drag you around like this without giving you a chance to rest. I'm Locke, right? Edgar told me about you. Is it true you're a thief? I'm a treasure hunter. On the surface, Edgar pretends to support the Empire. Truth is, he's collaborating with an underground resistance group called the Returners. I serve as their go-in-between. The old man you met in Narsh is one of us, too. The Empire, but I'm an Imperial soldier. Not anymore. They were using you, that's all. Things are different now. It's just, I don't know what I should do. Whenever I try to think, it just makes my head hurt even worse. All that matters is that you make your own decisions from now on. You don't have to think too hard right now. You'll know what you want to do when the time comes. But how will I know which choice is right? I don't blame you. Edgar sucks. What in the... Oh no, what's going on? It's the Empire, Kefka, he... What do you think you're doing? Bring me the girl, now. I have no idea what you're talking about. Oh, then enjoy the barbecue. Fire, fire. The castle's on fire. Get her ready. Yes, sire. Had a change of heart? It seems I have no choice. Or perhaps I do. 
Oh my, the brave and noble king abandons his people to save his own skin. How utterly delightful. Jump. We escape on chocobos. All right, sink her into the sand. Yahoo! Figaro dive mode. Witness the glory of Figaro. That'll put out the fire. Go, kill them. Okay, gotta fight these. Probably pretty strong. What's the matter, Edgar? What made you jump like that all of a sudden? Did, did, did you just see what I saw? You did, right? Right? Yeah, this kid's really something, huh? Really something? That was magic. Magic. <laughs> ma -ma 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 -ma. Magic? She used magic? Whisper, whisper. Whisper, whisper. Tara. Your name was Tara, right? What exactly was that just now? I'm sorry, I... No, we should be apologizing. I didn't mean to make such a big deal out of it. Nor did I, it just surprised me. I mean, I've never actually seen magic before. Where did you... It doesn't matter, does it, Edgar? Tara can use magic and we can't. That's all there is to it. The fact is, her magic could really help us right now. Thank you, Locke. Thank you, Edgar. Wink. I think she just winked. Ah! Okay. I temporarily forgot how to play. Background is so weird. Bravo, El Figaro. Where are we going? Son of a sandworm, you'll pay for this. That was great. Were those bad people? I I'm scared. Tara, there's someone we would like you to meet. Like I told you before, we're members of the Returners. Would you be willing to meet our leader? Magic is going to be the key, key to winning this war. Magic. That Esper reacted to your magical powers. There's got to be a relationship. I don't know any more than you do. These powers just come naturally to me. But no human is born with the powers you have. Forgive me. What should I do? The Empire will be coming after us. They want your powers for their own. And if they get them, the world is done for. 
Tara, you want to understand your own powers, don't you? Then I think you should meet with Bannon. He may be able to help you find out more about why you have them. Please, Edgar's right. There's a cave just south of here that leads to South Figaro. Let's head in that direction. How do I get there? Can I go up and around? here. Okay, so I guess I have to go all the way back. To about where we started. So let's try to find our way around. This is frustrating.
I'm stuck. <laughs> Completely stuck. Wait, is that the cave right there? Thought it was marked on the map. Oh, my chocobo. Okay. Where are you headed, sire? Through the cave and, and eastward to South Figaro. We'll then make for the returner headquarters in the north. Return to the castle and pass the word along. Understood, sire. Take care. Oh, I don't get the chocobo. All right. Well, I'm gonna go ahead and save here and end this part. Thanks for watching. See you next time.